June, the Israeli government unveiled a proposal that deals with so-called Bedouin settlement issues in the Nakab or Negev Desert. Called the Prower Report, the government aims to forcibly displace up to 45,000 Bedouin citizens of Israel and move them from unrecognized villages into government-planned townships. Bedouins and their supporters have largely rejected the Prower Report as discriminatory and as ignoring their historical connection to the land. They also fear it will be implemented by force. This report is really bad for Israel, it's really bad for the Bedouins, uh, and it's uh, unimplementable. It cannot be implemented on the ground. First of all, this report is discriminate between Arabs and Jews in the Nakab. Jews have different alternatives of living here. Jews can reside in, in a city, in a town, in a, a rural community, in kibbutz, in mushav. Even they can reside in individual farms, while Bedouins have to push to townships to be urbanized. The Prower Report is discriminating be between Bedouins and Bedouins, while offering some compensation in land for those P Bedouins who are living on their lands, okay, and deprive that from Bedouins who kicked out of their lands in the 50s of the last century, immediately in the, last, in the first decade after the establishment of the State of Israel. Most of the Bedouins actually lived in northwest of the Negev, of the Nakab, okay, and they were pushed from that area to the Siaj area, the triangle between today between Beer Sabia, Beer Sheva, Arad, and Dimona. The Brava report will not be implemented also because nobody asks the Bedouins what they want. The whole Brava report is against the uh, desire of the Bedouins. And it's, you know, uh, treat the Bedouins as unequal citizens and also, let us remember that the Bedouins are citizens of the state of Israel, and they are supposed to be equal citizens of the state of Israel. The way I read a, a Brower report, they are trying to uproot 40,000 people, 40 to 45,000, not 30,000 as they mentioned this number. I don't know how they came out of this. They uproot the people from 25 villages with 40 to 45,000 people and push them to the townships, to the towns. The government is going to allocate 8 milliard shekels, 8 billion shekels. It's a huge amount of money. Big portion of this money will go for, for forces, for police, and to try to implement this uh, plan. I, it, it scared me to, to know that uh, millions of shek uh, hundreds of millions of shekels will go for forcing people to evacuate their land, for destroying the villages, okay? I, can, I think that they can use this money for development to do something. I think they can use this money for a dialogue with the Bedouins. Why they have to threaten all the time using force and using force and more police and more forces? The whole issue is that the Bedouin, the Bedouins are claiming only 5.4 of the total land of the Nakab, not more than that. If the government of Israel is going to be very generous and to give the Bedouins all their claims, they will actually control 5.4% of the total land. But we know the government of Israel is not going to be generous. Right now, the Bedouins, all the Bedouins, in the unrecognized villages and in the seven planned towns, including Abu Basma Regional Council, they live only in 2% of the total area of the Nakab. The Bedouins has been invisible people in the last 60 years. Unfortunately, they continue to be invisible uh, citizens of the state of Israel after 63 years. I can say to the Prime Minister Netanyahu and other people, the Negev will not be developed if you overpass, if you jump on the Bedouin community here. They are part of the state of Israel, they are part of the Nakab, and they are here before the establishment of the state of Israel. And it's better to open a dialogue. I, I believe the issue of land claims can be solved peacefully, 
can be solved peacefully. I'm talking with the people, they are willing to talk and willing to listen to the government needs also, but they want the government, first of all, to be loyal to them as citizens.